Well, um, let's maybe just look at some of the other examples um, that you brought here. Is, is the artist of this one, do we know the um, origin of that particular sketch or not? Yeah, this is Kepish. Kepish uh, also. Kepish. And oh, right. uh, what, what I'm really fascinated about his ideas when he's speaking about the Tivoli. And yeah. uh, the idea of the Tivoli, we should not look again, we should not look maybe at these uh, sketches as uh, uh, final designs. Mm -hmm. I think we should look at them as the designs that would evoke us to imagine about the space, mm. about the public space, because mm -hmm. they saw the Charles River as a public space, mm -hmm. as a space that is charting, uh, um, that is charting the body of the city mm -hmm. and that gives us imagination about all variety of the public cultures, yeah. first of all. So for him, the idea of the Tivoli was precisely the possibility to celebrate the public culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there is a very intriguing picture that um, of the of um, this aerial view of the Longfellow Bridge and the dam and there is this element in the water. Can you describe to us what we see here? Yeah, that's a proposal uh, by artist Michio Ihara and it is called uh, floating walkaway system. It is composed from uh, the proposal. It's composed from uh, more than 600 barges of different size, different mm -hmm. lengths. Mm -hmm that are connected uh, and interconnected with the system of bridges between each other. Mm -hmm. So all of them, they're creating for the viewer this amazing landscape uh, that can be explored for a variety of activities. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way, uh, maybe I could read a chapter from... Uh, well, I'm not sure, we have only a few minutes left, okay. so I'm not sure we, we can... I would rather, if it's all right with you, I would love to move to another picture of another, I think it's also a Kepish, a Kepish project. That, that is Otto Pienne, rain, Rainbow for the Charles. Yeah. And, uh, and this is, uh, for me, it's also an amazing example uh, that is built uh, on, on the civic scale over the River Charles, uh, precisely uh, as example of anti-monumental practice. Uh, the piece is uh, held in balloon is this enormous helium balloon that is uh, actually uh, constructed for one event. Uh, and uh, the, the main uh, experience of this event is uh, organization of the people who are involved in building this piece. Mm. For that precisely for this moment. So, so this moment is turning city into event and, mm. it's, and it's bringing all this relationship into the place, relationship mm. between the people, environment, and between the participants and the river, mm. connecting on the both sides of the river. Because, yeah. you know, just, just to... Linking the two Exactly, yeah, and, yeah. and you, need, you need people on both sides of the river to build the piece. Oh, I see. Wonderful. Well, you have a, another intriguing image here. Um, Describe to us what, what we see on the screen. Well, this is another piece by Otto Piene, and Otto Piene was uh, a director of uh, CVS for many years and uh, was a very important person who brought uh, artists and scientists together. At that time, they were experimenting with uh, all these new materials uh, like plastics and gases, and, uh, and those materials were coming from uh, directly from science, from NASA, from military research, and uh, the point that they were appropriated for the cultural use, mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, for the use of humanities, was already a big point of transformation mm. of the of the material transformation and also human transformation. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want um, in case you joined us recently, this is the Charles River Conservancy Parkland Show. Um, we have as a guest Gediminas Urbanas from MIT talking about visual arts and there is um, on the 11th on the 11th of December is a tour um, that is organized by you and your students to go and look at the new basin and the guide will be Carl Hagland the senior planner of DCR who is overseeing the planning of the new basin and the tour starts at MIT 77 Mass Avenue at 10 o'clock and um, so um, the public is welcome to join to walk along the river and then to visit the new basin and experience that as an amazing new venue for 
um, an urban riverscape. So that is happening and um, you're welcome to join that. And um, we have one other piece that you might want to explain to us um, that is, is a very intriguing um, installation. Yeah, for, so for this Lodi Burgess piece uh, that is uh, actually uh, plants encapsulated in the ice, uh, uh, it is one of those uh, amazing examples that are telling us about the uh, state of the material, state of the water as a material uh, in this uh, uh, very temporal uh, uh, form of the ice. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this example shows ice blocks with the uh, plants uh, encapsulated inside and uh, sliding on the river. Mm. They, they are placed uh, on the ice, on the Charles River, and uh, according to the testimonies of the people who were participating that uh, these plants and the seeds of these plants were spread uh, al along the coast of the river mm -hmm. so you can still nowadays find these plants oh wow <laughs> so this piece uh, yeah. is very actually similar to, uh, to yeah. joseph boy's uh, uh, seven thousand oak trees yeah, that was yeah. part of the document exhibition yeah yeah so um we only have a few minutes left and so your students are looking at those various spaces and are coming up with ideas of how to bring out um, issues, memories, how to celebrate. Um, and, and so I'm looking forward that we have another show together to um, then have your students work uh, presented um, here to, to the viewers. Um, because it's a very, very intriguing, intriguing space. So um, I'd like you to kind of, we, we need to wrap up, but um, I think um, those of you who would like to have more time to look at those images we showed, um, the show will be on YouTube. And, um, and so we will be back soon um, talking more about, about your students' work and your work. Yeah, thank you, Renata. And uh, well, to to sum up, um, that uh, this tour is part uh, of the class uh, that is uh, looking at the river as laboratorium. Yeah, uh, we uh, not only working with the archives, uh, mm -hmm. we are working with uh, with this uh, with the ideas of the dialogue, with the trajectories yeah. that we can uh, that can allow us to bridge. Uh, uh, the historical uh, experience with the present uh, environmental experience. And I need to cut you off here because the, the, the camera is going to cut us off. Um, but um, I um, want to thank you for, your sh for coming today. Thank you, Gediminas, and thank you for the great work you're doing. Thank you, Renata. Thank you very much.